Good evening, everybody. Hello, Merlin. Good evening, Daniel. Hello, good evening. Hello. How's everything? Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good to see you. How's everything? What? How is everything? Good? How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to start a new class? Yes, I'm ready. You are more than ready, right? So uh, I really like that. Well, Berenice is in the class now. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, why don't we take advantage of timing? We start with the activity we finished yesterday. Why don't we talk a little bit about what happened during your vacation time? So that oh, because, yeah, falta. <laughs> uh, you're still missing some info. No, no he terminado de incluir más información, pero. Ah, okay. So whenever you have some info, let me know it. Okay, mm -hmm. Gladys got it to the class. In... We're going to start in a minute. It's uh, two minutes after eight. I can see Aidan, and Aidan will be a listener tonight. Okay, have five people connecting and still waiting for the rest. Well, meanwhile, there is a gather. Let us practice a little bit. Let's see what happened yesterday. What do you remember about yesterday, uh, people? What do you remember? What, what was like very significant yesterday for you? The pronunciation, the, the regular, past verse. Regular verse. That was very significant. Regular, past things. So what do you think about that? Do you think it, it, it's a difficult, very easy? You need to practice only? For me, it's, it's very difficult, the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. is, is it very difficult, Merlin? Um, more or less. More or but, less. More, but... Um, um, you know, this process uh, is a little by little, right? Mm -hmm. We're not going to eat the, the word at once, okay? But we're going to walk, uh, we're going to walk step by step. <laughs> step by step, not everything at the same time. But, uh, well, since yesterday we started with pronunciation of regular verbs, and you consider that's uh, kind of difficult. And um, I think that the web page I encountered was like exaggerating, right? When it said, when we read that it was kind of complicated, but it actually is, I don't consider it that complicated. When we when we listen to the expression complicated, maybe our mind tends to get blocked. Okay, and that may be like, um, that, that may be unnecessary, unnecessary info to say that something's complicated. When you uh, learn, and when you start uh, playing with the different tenses and when you start creating a lot of ideas in your mind in English, then you encounter that it is only another language. It is not um, that difficult, actually. The only thing we need to do is to keep uh, working hard and never give up, okay? I know that during the day for you, it's very difficult uh, to, to have an application there and to start like studying or having some review. But you see, we have weekends, we have some minutes there in the day in which we can invest, okay, time to get some new words, new expressions, new um, grammar, you see a lot of info. Well, I will check list attendance. I need to see about the people who got into the class now. Then we're going to start. 
And you will see that we have a lot of info tonight. We're going to get, we're going to see, or we're going to have some review about what we studied yesterday. And besides that, we're going to, we're going to use a vocabulary. Okay, people, which checklist attendance. So be ready. Aiden. Belen. Daniel. Present teacher. Good. Edgar. Gladys. Hello, Jonathan Josue. Jose Daniel. Juan Fernando. Maria Elba. Mario Cristóbal. Berenice. I'm here, teacher. Good. Merlin Arely. Present. All right. Michael. I'm here, teacher. Good, Michael. Aníbal. Hey, Michael, could you solve the problem you had yesterday? Mm, yes. I yeah. Do. It was, it was a question mark, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a question mark. So some people have to have uh, problems with, with those exercises. Don't worry. Then we have Norma Xiomara. Ronan. Oh, Norma is there, right? Good. Ronan. Teresa. Vera Liz. And Jansi. Let's see. Okay, I can see in the chat that Ronan is over here. Cristobal is over here. Vera Liz is, a, is staying in the class as a listener. Good. Okay, the majority of the participants are over here. That's excellent. Okay, uh, well. Hello, speaker. Good evening. Sorry. Okay, Jose Daniel, it's all right. Now I can see you are on here. Well, do we have 15 people connected in this room? And, well, let's see. Well, we're gonna work a lot. Just give me a second. I'm just trying to arrange the ideas that I have over here. And now, yes, I got everything is already set. Well, yesterday we were talking about <laughs> verbs, verbs in English. And I told you that there are some verbs that are regular and there are some others that are irregular. And that with the regular verbs, we already know they are regular because all of them uh, end in ed. Okay. As you can see, ed is at the end of the, of the verb. And also we studied about questions, right? And I told you that there is an auxiliary, which is the deal, and it is very useful, or is the one that we use to ask questions in the past. Well, over here we have written sentences, use of verbs in parentheses, and type. Type it in its simple past form. Now, we're going to start from the instructions. Vale, cada vez que yo me detenga en un verbo, ustedes me lo van a decir en tres, en las tres maneras, ¿ok? Ahí voy a ir viendo. Miren, ¿de dónde puedo sacar este un ejercicio para, para, para empezar a indagar si están aprendiendo verbos o no? Yo de cualquier uh, recurso voy a empezar a a sacar verbos. Ok, Aníbal. Where is this verb? Regular, irregular. Where is the past and where is the past participle? Good evening, uh, Juan Fernando. Ok, Aníbal, are you there? Good evening, Aníbal. Aníbal. 
Let's see, Daniel. Hello. Hello. Read, is the, read. read is simple present. Uh -huh. What is the past form? Red. What is the past participle? Red. Red. Okay. What is this verb? Use uh, simple present. Simple present. What is the past? <laughs> Use it. With T or with D? It is. It is at the end, all right. And the past participle? Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Anybody else or Daniel, if you want to continue, where is this verb? Type. Type. Past? Type. Type. Simple past? Uh huh. Uh huh. Deeper. So, but who's participating? Berenice? Okay, Deeper. Beren. Uh huh. Um, Tipper. Mm, not really. Type it. Type it. Uh, okay. So. Mm -hmm. Let us define first if it is regular or, or irregular. Is this regular or irregular? It's regular. 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 So we now so we know that the past is with D. Is that right? Type. 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 Ah, okay. Algunos se lo pronuncian bien, otros no. The E D. Ya vi yo que ustedes definieron que la pronunciación es así. Right? ¿Sé que sí, sí, sí? ¿Se recuerdan de lo que vimos ayer? The problem is that there are some people who are just saying type it. No. It's because the ID itself sounds like T. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. Sé que el sonido se detiene acá y esto ya suena como T. Type. type. Okay. Tight. 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 Okay, very good. Tight. So, well, I, I will look for a lot of verbs. Ya lo, lo voy a estar probando. Vamos a estar evaluando. Okay. What about this one? We stop the payment. One or two? One. One. Pronunciation? One. Stop. 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 Good. Stop. Andrew, carry the box. Regular or irregular? Regular. Regular is over here, right? So what's the what's the, the answer? One or two? Oh, two. 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 Carry. Two. Carry. Yes. So the supervisors yeah. try to ship the package. Pronunciation? I mean, one or two? Two. 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 Pronunciation? Right. Tried. 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 Yeah, I'm exaggerating, you know. Did the new assistant call the office? Yes, she did. Yes, she does. Or yes, she is? Yes, yes. She, did. yes. she did. Yeah, she did, right? Did the employees get fired? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. No. Do you know this word? Uh, okay. So, what is the what is the what is the past form of this verb? Yes. Yes. Simple past. Got. Get. Huh? Got. 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 Past participle. Got. 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 Oh, gotten, gotten or gotten. Good. Now, now I can see that. Well, we did a great job yesterday night. Sí, hicimos un buen trabajo ayer. Okay, estamos viendo resultados. And let's continue because we have a, a, a very long way to go. Okay, so, so far so good. 
Espero que todos estén trabajando siempre en la, en la plataforma. Recuérdense que esto lo tomamos solo para reafirmar, pero esto queda registrado en sus puntajes. Importantísimo. De hecho, esta semana tienen el midterm. Ya yes. estamos a día miércoles. Creería que eh, ya por lo menos avanzaron unas dos partes del midterm. Mañana terminaron, te, podrían terminar, digamos, ya el test para que yo el viernes esté uh, registrando sus, sus avances. ¿Ok? Now. All right, so this is part of the information we were studying yesterday, right? So we uh, we studied about uh, this conversation. We discovered that the way to answer is just no question a simple puzzle like saying, yes, he did, no, he didn't. Yes, I did, no, I didn't. Yes, it did, no, it didn't, etc. right? So... And over here it says, look at the words involved and complete the sentences. I learned a lot. I updated. Okay, I will ask some of you to read. Can somebody read this, please? Me ayudan a leer. I learned a lot. Good. I update. My uh, network. Uh, 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 I update. Mm, are you sure? What was the rule I taught you yesterday regarding to this kind of verbs? Uh, date. Update. Uh, updated, right? So I... remember that if the verb ends with T or T. Si termina con sonido de D o T, entonces hay que decir it, updated, updated, updated. I updated. Yeah. Ok, uh, what about... Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sí. Mer go ahead. Um, I updated my networking skill. skills. Skills. Good. What about this one? I exchange business card. Exchange business card. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you, what about this one? Luis didn't attend the a seminar. All right. Luis didn't exchange business card. Business cards. And then we have just no questions. Did you enjoy that seminar? Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you make new contacts? Did Janet update her networking skills? Good. That, that's fantastic. Okay, now let's see. The simple past describes, you're going to help me with this because, you know, we started this yesterday, but oops. Give me a second. What did I do? And that's a, mm, well, yesterday we started this, but let us complete this statement. The simple past describes past events. Use the verb in the the simple past describes past events. Use the verb in the in the form or in base the... form. ED form. Ah, okay. So it's in this form, right? Okay. To talk about past. Actually, you know, these are regarding to regular verbs. Uh, for negative, so this is for positive sentences, right? What about for negative sentences? We use don't use or didn't. Didn't. Didn't, right? Simple. And the base and, form of the verb. And excellent in the base form of the verb. Questions, mm -hmm. right? Questions. You need to be clear about it. 
Now, let's go to the next one. Start just no questions about the past week. Do or did. Start just no questions about the past week. Do did. or did. 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 Next, add the, the subject of the verb. Subject. The subject, right? Followed by, by that. In the form or base form? Base form. Base form. Base form. Good. Of the verb in any other complement phrase. There is anybody? Is there anybody? Okay, Jonathan is saying hello to everybody. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Okay, don't worry, uh, Jonathan, because we're having some review. You haven't missed anything. No se perdido nada todavía. Okay. Now complete the questions below using the best in parentheses. Interview two classmates, take notes of their answers and combine short and long uh, answers. Okay, now we're we're not gonna go deeply with this. Uh, well, yesterday we were, we, I told you, right, to tell me about the, these verbs. Okay, attend, where's the past of this verb, people? Attended. Excellent, past participle? Attended. It's the same. So that, that is fortunately with regular verbs, if you know the simple past, automatically you know the past participle. Si sabe, si se sabe, si usted identifica que el verbo es regular, termina en ed, y se sabe la pronunciación, ya se sabe el pasado y se sabe el pasado participio, es lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Etien, etienil, etienil. Enjoy. Okay, enjoy. Enjoy. enjoy simple past enjoy it. enjoy enjoy it. It. past participle enjoy it. enjoy it that's the same what about me met met uh -huh. see met past participle Met. Meet, met, met. Learn, simple past. It regular. Learned. 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 Is, is it regular or irregular? Regular. 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 Okay, now actually I will tell you about this verb. This verb has two forms. Puede ser con ed, learned, o puede ser con t al final, learned. Learned. Ok, las dos están bien. Uh -huh. O sea que este no, no se definió al final. Quería ser regular, pero también quería ser irregular. Learned, learned. Ok, so you can, you can, you can choose, right? Uh, network. Network. Networked. Networked. Past participle. Yeah. Similar. It's the same. It's the same. Each change. The last one. Exchange. Ah, we did at the end, right? Past participle. Exchange. It's the same. All right, so later you can complete this info, okay? So, I have a lot of work to, uh, to a lot of info in here. And, well, we, we can, I told you we were going to talk about small talk, right? We're going to go over it in a very quick way. It says that uh, in small talk, we can use a variety of topics. Now, one question. Si no lo saben, lo investigan. What's a, what's a small talk, people? 
Si no lo saben, váyanse a la, a la net. Y me dicen que es a, a small talk. Uh -huh. What's a small talk? Mm -hmm. Then, do you consider yourself a good conversa conversationalist? And why? So actually we have like two questions out right here. First, what's a small talk? Second, do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Mm -hmm. Carla. Huh? Charla, la okay, that's right. So that's yeah. a small talk. Hey, what's yeah. a small talk in English? Si yo le pregunto en inglés, ¿cómo me responde en inglés? What's a small talk? It's a little small talk. It's a little small talk? <laughs> Good. I like it. It's a, little, it's a small talk. Teacher, a small talk is a small talk. It's a little conversation. Oh, it's a little conversation. That it is a spontaneous conversation. Like and very short, actually. Small talk. Sure. So, do you consider yourself a good converse, conversationalist? <laughs> yes, I do. No, I don't. And tell me the reason, please. I don't. You don't? No, I no, don't. I don't. <laughs> no, you, no you, I don't. You're not a good conversationalist? No. Why not? Why? Why not? It's so difficult to have empathy. <laughs> uh, is, is it difficult to emphasize, empathize with people? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, so that's a good reason, right? So, but do you consider it a, a good um is it good to be to to be a very talkative person? Do you think it's is it is it good to be talkative? Or do you think it, it, it's bad? Well, think about it. Now, only here we have good topics. Okay, we're gonna check. It says choose, right? We're gonna check three good topics for small talk. And we're gonna uh, write down an X to three. You consider it are not appropriate to discuss your choices with a part. So we're gonna see. Ustedes me van a decir, teacher, ese es un buen tema, un buen topic para empezar una conversación. Pero me van a decir que no es cuando ustedes lo consideren que, que no sea como un buen tema para iniciar conversación. We have location. And in the location, it says, is your company need the trade center? Good topic or bad topic to start a, 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 a small talk? Good topic. Okay, oh, yeah, good. Good. Company, job, example, what are some of your responsibility at Rex Inc.? What are some of your responsibilities in your job? Good topic or bad topic? Bad topic. Uh, you don't like to talk about what you're doing in your uh, in your job. What about politics? Example: These politicians are a disaster. A disaster. What do you think? Bad topic. Bad. <laughs> Especially Bad. nowadays. Especialmente hoy en día, verdad? Y no vamos a entrar ahí porque no va a ser. Common events, example. <laughs> Are you enjoying the seminar? Good topic. That's a good one, right? Ahí no se hiere a nadie. Travel, example. Does your job require a lot of travel? Yeah. Good topic. 
It's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Money. Example. <laughs> Are you making good money in your job? Okay. Buses. Example. I go for a Thailand. What about you? <laughs> Uh, you know a tyrant, right? Si no saben, búsquenlo. Bad. Uh, that's, bad. that's a bad one, right? Tirano. ¿Y qué tal si usted va hablando, digamos, con un jefe de otra compañía? Bad. Ay, usted no sabe, ¿verdad? Likes. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? This is a good one, right? This is a good one, right? So we have one two, three, four top. So what is this exercise all about? What, what, what is the message? ¿Cuál es el mensaje con este ejercicio? Que debemos elegir bien el tema de conversación. Si queremos iniciar una plática con alguien, especialmente alguien desconocido, es de verificar el tema. Hay gente que es muy susceptible con ciertos con ciertos topics, especialmente con aquellos de religión, política y pues algunas veces hasta de fútbol. Pero, ok. So, that's a message, people. Ok, quite interesting, right? Quite interesting. Now, let, let, us, let us move on. It's because you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna create your own, ok? You see, excuse me, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks, by the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. What is this? What is it? Small talk. It is a small talk, right? Hey, did they mention any of these events? Common event. Common event. Come on, event. Are you enjoying the seminar? Okay, so that's the that's the mm. one the, the person chose, right? Hey, excuse me, where's the conference? It's on the mm -hmm. second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. So, and they start a conversation. Okay? Think about it. Todavía no lo voy a poner a trabajar porque necesito... Necesito que veamos otra cosa, pero vayan pensando en una co co conversación de esta naturaleza. Ok, so. Yo dije que iba a pedirles a algunos que leyeran esto de manera. Pss, genial. Ok, so we're going to read it. Read the article about me states networking experience discussed. If the questions below are true or false, correct the false sentences. So, cada vez que vea un verbo, yo voy a detener al lector y el lector me va a decir las tres formas. Ok. Yo voy a elegir quién va a empezar a leer. Oh, Teresa. So if, if you're facing problems with, uh, I mean, technical problems or any, any other kind of problem, we we'll really appreciate you. Let me know. It's okay. Uh, Jonathan. Hello, hello. Jonathan, are you there? Jansi? <laughs> hey, people. For, for some time, uh, I don't know what's, what's happening. I don't know what's happening, but it seems as if, if some of you are like, I don't know, uh, if I ask for volunteers, 
the same people are like raising hands all the time. It would be really nice if you like take the courage and then you say, me teacher, I will read it. No matter what, no matter if I, if I commit a mistake. Michael, go ahead. I try, teacher. Try. Yeah. Do it. Last week I had lunch with Alison. Okay, stop there. Yeah. Stop there, Michael. Uh -huh. Present, past, and past participle. Dígame las tres formas de ese verbo, por favor. Have, for, have, uh, yeah, have. Okay, have, have, have. Good. Okay, continue, Michael. A new member in my network contact. We saw. Stop there. We uh -huh. saw each other at uh, three seminars over the past year. Uh, tell me, present, past, and past participle. Michael. See. So. Seen. Mm, see, so seen. Okay, very good. Each Fantastic. other. Each other at three seminars over the past year. But we really did not know. Tell me the base form, past form, and the past participle. No. New. New. No. No. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. I set a goal. Each. Each other very well. I see. I see a goal last year. I would I would have a one on one networking meeting with a meeting with a list five new contacts this year. This year, okay. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Any other person? My... Ah, okay, Michael, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Any other person, any other volunteer? Okay. Thank you, Michael. You are very kind. My fifth contact meeting Thank was you. Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. Give me a second. Base form, past form, and the past participle form, Daniel. Have is are uh, is pardon is it is in the in the base form is uh, is um are is base form base base form base. um are no 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 no. Are. Mm. So let's clarify this. B. That is the verb B, right? Was. Mm. Or where. In the past participle, my, uh, Daniel? B. B. Sorry. Good. B, B was verb B. That's the verb B. Okay. Mm. Okay, now let me see. So let's see what's the website. So many ones. Recording. Okay, past and past participle. Base form, past and past participle. Wanted. 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 One. One. Okay, okay. Now, sure. Shared. Past participle? Shared. Shared, shared. Okay. Now, we're going to read only. Solo vamos a leer esa parte. Ok, ya no me voy a detener mucho en verbo porque si no, no, no. Hay mucho verbo en esta lectura. 
Yes. Okay, can somebody else help me to read? The second part. Please. Okay. During lunch, Alison mentioned that she was she by nature. In the past, she said she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I feel surprised because she throws me tan feeling I got to know more about her. Her industry, she's worried in and about her expectation for the future. Now again, at more than a new contact, I pass for a small talk to a smart talk. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna, you're gonna tell me, um, Berenice, about certain verse. How do you pronounce this, Berenice? Mentioned. Mentioned, right? Let us try to exaggerate for a while. This one? Nature. Nature. Say. Say it. Worried. Worried. Surprise. Trust. Trusted. Eat. Trusted. Gain. Excellent. Pace. Past. Yes. From okay. small talk to smart talk. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with this, people, in a very quick way. Anybody else in the in the group who wants to help me? Thank you, uh Michael, once again. Pretty good, Michael. Go ahead. Here is my advice to you. When you attend business event, business event, do you, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know uh, at least three new people by sharing a uh, one-on-one -one networking coffee. Lunch or dinner, there are several benefits of the practice. You spend your time, you spend your contacts, improve your networking skills and your build meaningful connection with people in the industry in the industry thank you michael how do you pronounce this word attend 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 event events events just 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 discuss 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 business Business benefits benefits and that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Okay, okay. Okay, I have this info also. And we finish with this exercise. Okay, we're not gonna stop the too much over here. Now, can somebody else help me to read? Thank you. Uh, uh, no, I thought I thought it was Anil. Anibal, can you help me to read? Okay. Any other volunteer? I teacher. Thank you. Uh, went networking with people at meetings. Mm. Conference, association, meetings, 
or conventions. Oops, what did I do? Sorry, no. sorry, sorry. It's my fault. Okay. Mm. Or conventions learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation guide change the standard what do you do for a living for a more creative for a more creative, creative. question questions to enrich Enrich. The human, the enrich the human exchange. exchange, like what inspires you in you in your job. What are your daily challenges? Challenges, excellent. So I will read and tell me what did you get, true or false. Alison and me stayed saw each other for the first time last week. True or false? False. False. True. Okay, okay. and even I, I saw the, the, the message, don't worry. It's false. Me stayed says, said a networking goal for this year. True. True? True. Alison confessed she hated networking events. True. True. False. True or false? False. False. Is it false? False. Alison confesses is timid. She is shy. It's true. She false. hated networking events. Yeah, it's because she's shy, right? So it is true, I think. Mm. Yeah. Miss Tate and Allison passed from small talk to small talk during lunch. True. 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 Miss Tate mentioned three benefits of one on one networking meetings. True. 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 Okay. Mm. Very good. So that this actually was the homework, right? So you you can practice later with transition and other stuff with this kind of uh, exercises. Well, mm. okay, so. We're gonna start with that with a topic over here. It's because you're gonna work a lot tonight. Because we're gonna start talking about your job. Actually, as, as you can see over here, we need to enrich vocabulary tonight. What is the topic we are starting or we are starting starting tonight? Talking about your company. Talking about your company. Vocabulary practice, okay? As you can see, we're not gonna be like very deeply in grammar, but we're gonna practice um, vocabulary about, the, uh, about companies. That is our topic. So that's why I got this, talking about your job. And it says that in the information, oops, in the information, in the video, you're going to see a mirror and poll and have a training session. You will listen to the language they use for talking about their jobs and pray and practicing the useful phrases. Okay, pre have preparation part that says talking about my job preparation, put the questions in the correct groups. How was your weekend? What do you do? Where do you live? Do you like people to work with? What's the best uh, part of your job? What's the role in the what's your role in the company? What do you like doing in your free time? How are you? So 
talking about your job. Questions. How was your weekend? Yes or no? What do you do? Yes, what do you do? What do you do? Okay, what do you do? It's about your job, right? Let me see, I can I cannot do it. Oh, no, yes. What do you do? Uh, what about how was your weekend? General question or about your job? General question. General question. Um, where do you live? General question. General question. Do you like the people you work with? General. About your work. About your job. Is it general or it's about your job? Do you like the people you work with? About your job. About your job. About your job. It's about your job, right? What's the best part of your job? About, about, your, job. about, about your, job. your job. What's your role in the company? About, about your, job. your job. About your job. What do you like doing in your free time? General, General questions. questions. General questions. How are you? General, General, question. Question. General, General question. question. Right? So this is this was very simple, right? So we're gonna say it. Let me see if we can see the answers. No, I think it's not gonna provide the answers. Well, let's see. Oh yes. You got the a, a hundred percent. All of them are correct. Okay, so that was the first, and we're gonna listen to we're gonna we're gonna listen, but we're gonna see the the the, the transcript so that we can see the information, uh, the whole info over here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna listen. If you want to take notes about a certain vocabulary, that would be really nice. Now, do you see quite well there? We're going to start. Listen. Hi, I'm Anna. Welcome to What to Say. to say when you talk about your job? Listen out for useful language for talking about your job. Then we'll practice saying the new phrases after this. Life is hard. Business is harder. I'm here to help you win. Do you want to be the best? Yeah. Um, I said, do you? want to be the best yeah. yes yeah. good you what's your role in the company i'm the head of design i manage artists and graphic designers good what about you i'm a content producer what does that mean it means i'm responsible for writing Nice. And you? What do you do? 
Social media and marketing. Do you like your job? Yeah, I love it. Good. But not good enough. Now listen, I'm here to make you the best. And I've got four hours to do it. Stand up. Let's all close our eyes. Breathe deeply and think about these two important questions. One, what's the best part of your job? And two, do you like the people you work with? Keep those eyes closed, breathe deep, and think. Hello again. I don't think Amir is enjoying the training very much. So, did you notice the useful phrases used for talking about your job? Listen to me and then repeat. What's your role in the company? What's your role in the company? I'm the head of design. I'm the head of design. Okay, you can repeat people. If you want to practice, repeat. I manage artists and graphic designers. I manage artists and graphic designers. I manage artists and graphic designers. I manage artists, I manage artists and graphic designers. What about you? 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 I'm a content producer. I am a content, content producer. producer. I'm a content producer. I am a content producer. producer. I'm responsible for writing. I'm responsible, I'm responsible for, for writing. writing. For I'm responsible for writing. I'm responsible for writing. for writing. What do you do? What do, what do, you, do? do? What do you do? What, what do you do? Do you like your job? Do you like your job? Do you like your job? Do you, do you like, like your job? Like your job? Yes, I love it. Yes, yes I, I love it. I love it. Yes, I love it. Yes, yes I, I love, love it. it. What's the best part of your job? What's, What's the, the best, best part, part of your job? job? What's your the best job? part of your job? What's the best part of your job? Do you like the people you work with? 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 Try and use some of these phrases the next time you talk about your job in English. Bye for now. Bye for now. Okay. Let's see if it finished, if it is done. Okay, so we got some vocabulary over here. I think I think it's it's interesting, right? Because where are the people here? Are they in a seminar? Yes, they do, right? So first task over here. Now we have three uh some song items over here. Okay, we need to choose the correct answer. For example, the trainer is there to help them relax or win. The win. trainer uh, is there win. to win. help them win. The next one. Emir is head up. Decide. Decide. Design. Paul is responsible for? 
Writing. Writing. For for design or for writing? Writing. For writing. Next one. Vanya does graphic design or social media? Social media. Social media. Vanya loves her job or thinks her job is okay? Love her job. job. She loves her job. Uh, the training session is an hour long, four hours long. Four hours four long. Hours long. Hours. It's four hours long. And that's it, right? So we'll finish. We got a hundred percent once again. That's good. Quite good. So we're gonna go to the task number three. This is task number two. Match the sentences that have the same meaning. Okay. What do you do? Do you like your colleagues? What's your job? What do you like most about your job? I'm a content writer. I manage the design department. Oh, what exactly do you do? Listen to the listen to the uh, to the information in here. Directions match the sentences that have the same meaning, the same. And the first one, what do you do? What's what is what is the question that means the same? Uh huh. What do you do? Maybe what's your job? Maybe uh, what exactly what you, do you do? Huh? I'm a counter writer. No, but I mean, listen to directions. Hay que enlazar las oraciones que tengan el mismo significado. Por ejemplo, acá tengo, what do you do? What exactly do you do? What exactly do you do? <laughs> okay. Is that the only one? Solo esa? What do you do? What do you like? Let's see if it is okay. No, but we can choose only one, I think, right? You say, what's your job, right? What exactly did you do? Only one, I think it's only one. I'm the head of design. I manage the design, I manage the design department. I manage the design department. Right, I'm responsible for writing content. I am a content writer. I'm a content writer. Uh, what's your role in the company? What's your role in the company? What's your job? What's your job? What's your job? What do you know? Yeah, I'm facing plans with the, I don't know what. What's, you say what's your job, right? What am I doing wrong? Oh, now he has ring. 
But it was the best part of your job. What, what do you like most about your job? What do you like the most about your job? And the last one, do you like the people you work with? Do you like your colleagues? Do you like your colleagues? Yes. Colleagues. Okay. So we're gonna finish it. And we got, what was the problem? We got a four from out of six. The problem was with this, where exactly you do? What do you do? What's your job? It was the best mm -hmm. option there, right? What do you do? What's, what do you do? What's your job? Okay, and vice versa, right? What's your role in the company? Where exactly you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let me see. We're going to finish it. And we're going to move on. We're going to work a little bit, okay? It's time to, it's, we're almost there. In order to start working with something, you need to put into practice. So what are you going to do, people? Let me see if this is, yeah. In the nail of the heel. No, I think we're gonna we're gonna use this, right? So and also let me see. There's some vocabulary here. Okay. Vocabulary such as industry, staff, networking, branch, guest, headquarters, small talk. Manufacture, personnel, and expertise. So we have some vocabulary. What are we going to do? Well, we are going to talk about what well, we have more on here, oversee, manufacture, supervise, e, be in church of, and network. So what are we going to do? Well, we, you, you are going to prepare a small presentation about your company. So, but we're going to try to tie. Vamos a tratar de enlazar los dos temas. Let me see. Voy a compartir este enlace. Ok. Uh, para que tengan la conversación. La otra página que les puede ayudar es esta. La 24... Okay, 24, and I think that's that's all. Later we can discuss this. So what are you going to do? Well, we're, I'm going to stop, uh, share this. And let's talk a little bit. Now, since the topic is about companies, job and other stuff, so what are we going to do? We're gonna, I told you, right? We're gonna try to tie the topic, the vocabulary, and with the vocabulary we have studied so far. So we're gonna spend like two, 15 minutes once again. 15 minutos, vamos a invertir en producir algo. Pero nos van a contar para, para utilizar ambos temas, la gramática que hemos estudiado que es pasado con el vocabulario que encontremos relacionado a, a la compañía donde trabajamos ok entonces vamos a hacer un poquito de historia, si usted sabe un poquito de historia de la compañía de compañía donde usted trabaja cuéntenoslo parte de la historia o eh, un resumen de la historia de la compañía donde ustedes trabajan. ¿Para qué nos va a servir eso? Bueno, ahí vamos a encontrar el vocabulario y vamos a encontrar la estructura de pasado simple. ¿Ok? Si, pues, no saben como mucha, mucha información acerca de la historia, pueden buscar en internet 
y como, última, como último recurso pueden inventar la historia de la compañía en caso de verdad no sepan absolutamente nada o no encuentren absoluta, absolutamente nada de la compañía donde ustedes trabajan. Como último recurso, inventan. Ok. Lo otro es que hay que usar el vocabulario que ustedes van a encontrar en, en, en la web. Ok. Y decirnos que nos comenten en realidad qué hay en su, en su compañía. Cómo su compañía la, la compañía donde usted trabaja está organizada. ¿Ok? Vamos a tratar que sean 15 minutos efectivos. Después de esos 15 minutos, sí les voy a pedir de favor que estén eh, prestos a participar. ¿Okay? Con lo poco, por lo menos ayer, eh, hicieron algo. Mm, quizás no fue muy largo, pero fue muy, muy, de mucho provecho. O sea, invertimos 15 minutos en, en producir algo, algo bueno. Que okay, algo muy bueno. Lo mismo ahora. Quiero pasado y quiero presente de cómo, su, cómo la compañía está estructurada, organizada. Y algún detalle que ustedes quieran decirnos que es para, para ustedes de suma importancia o que es algo especial del por qué ustedes decidieron trabajar ahí en esos lugares. ¿Ok? Pero ya eso queda libre a, a que ustedes lo, nos lo comenten. Um, ¿Estamos claros? Ok. Ok, 15 minutes. Si hay preguntas, háganlas ahorita antes de iniciar. Porque en esos 15 minutos yo quiero que estén 100% concentrados eh, creando algo. Creando algo con todo lo que hemos venido estudiando. ¿No questions? Okay, let's start. You have 15 minutes from now on.
Okay, we're uh, missing only five minutes. We're going to start in a few minutes. So be ready, people. Okay, time's over. Let's see. Are you ready? Okay, are you ready, people? Let's, let's try. Anyone, did you get some info? Hello, Aníbal. Uh, okay, so we have some participants that are ready. I can I can see Jose Daniel wants to share info. Go ahead, Jose Daniel. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Jose Daniel Cermeño. I am work in Banco Cuscatlán. Banco Cuscatlán was founded in. 1972 begin a benchmark in El Salvador banking. After several decades of success in the regional in 2007, the share was sold to Citibank. Nigeria leader Citibank gave tweets 
twist to in business strategy in Latin America and sell the operation to Grupo Imperia. This how in was born in the mil in 2016, the new Banco Catalan, with the vision of the begin the leading leading bank in El Salvador. Yay. Quite good, Joseph. Okay, so I highly recommend you to look for specific words. Okay, muy excelente info. Okay, necesito, Joseph, que lo repase y que haga observaciones detalladas del de, de vocabulario, okay? Joseph. Okay. But uh, it was quite good. Great info. Okay, anybody else in the group? Thank you, Merlin. Um, good evening, teacher and classmates. Um, the university, the El Salvador, is a corporation, has 12 locations. I work at the Santa Ana College in the engineering department. Uh, the university service serves about sixty thousand and sixty thousand students, and and was founded in eighteen forty one. In the same year, years that the Republic of El Salvador was born, um, the main processes are education, social projections, and research. Only that. Great info, Merlin. Really nice info. Okay, so the same the same piece of advice, Merlin. A piece of, same piece of advice. Uh, repasémoslo. Uh, hagamos observaciones detalladas del vocabulario. Okay. Y su pronunciación. But that was quite good. Thank you, Merlin. Thank you. Okay. Any other person who wants to participate? Hi, teacher. Okay, Aníbal. Uh, you have your time. Go ahead. I, I have a connection. Uh, uh, talking about your job, uh, Aeroman and Salvadorian company dedicated to Aeroman Health. My name in the way exists hunger yesterday, to, taking another step in expanding its operating in El Salvador. The new fracture is located on the extra sport grounds on the Monsignor Oscar Ornulfo Romero y Galdames International Airport in the Department of La Paz and Company Executive Country Authorities uh, and the President of the Republic, Nayib, were present at the opening ceremony. Bukele, among other special guests, we believe uh, in investing in El Salvador. We invest in our people. We produce in uh, El Salvador. We export from El Salvador. And we do it, do it in, in a very complex area that, that is uh, the aeronautical area. Aeroman is a job factory. He said the businessman, Roberto Criti, President of the Board of the Director, Director of Aeroman. Finish, teacher. Okay, okay, Aníbal. Thanks for sharing the information. Okay, same story, Aníbal. Okay, keep uh, practicing okay. the, the info. Okay, and if you can add some uh, extra information, would be really nice. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. 
for doing your best effort. Next person, volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Fernando. Go ahead. Okay. Good evening, class. Uh, hello, my name is Fernando. I work for GC Group and by Kitchen. It's a company that signed in 1917. It's dedicated to the service to airplane. In GCG, we are dedicated to providing food, service, and boarding to airplane. In El Salvador, we have been operation for more than uh, 13 years old. Uh, the more important role of the company is the full service for the flight. The important thing about prepared food is the safe and the each ingredient that in prepare. The processes are with flat with high standards by uh, hygiene and preparation. I have 13 years of dedication myself to do the kitchen from the preparation the preparation of the restaurant, hotel and no way dates to fly cooking at two minutes at two the challenge of working for the company signs in El Salvador. It was my next step for my personal training. Now my position is that the sous chef and I feel very happy to working with the team almost and 100 people and we continue to learn more every day. That's all. Wow, great team for. And also, uh, I, I could notice that you were paying attention to pronunciation and other stuff. Okay? okay. Now, try to, I mean, try to continue uh, like practicing the info and if you want to add more info that would be really nice and if you want to share the information once uh, once again you you just let me know it okay anybody else in the group another volunteer in a group thank you michael you can start now. Okay, teacher. Uh, the name is the name the my company is Global Alimentos. Uh, it start with a small rice meal in my in my nineteen ninety seven and thanks to the world leadership of its founder, it made it possible to incorporate other products such as the corn flour meal, beans product plants, and wheat meals, long pass production plants, and um. Um, products that have been incorporated other than your product star are beans, uh, red beans, uh, pink beans, wheat flour, rice flour, and ground flour. Uh, that's it, teacher. Thank you, Michael. Okay. I congratulate, congratulate Michael because he is a very perseverant a participant. He's always trying to do his best, practicing, and wow, well, he participates actively in the class. So, okay. uh, Michael, keep working on on it, and if you want to add some more info, that would be right. If you wanna, sh if you want to share the information once again, just let me know it. You are going to be given some other time. 
Anybody else in the group? Is there anybody else in the group? Uh, well, I don't think you... Let me see. Berenice, are you done? Yeah, yeah, I'm finished. Oh, okay. Go ahead, please. What is the name of my company? Is it Dish? Uh, Dish is the first provider of company of the pay television with a wide variety of channels. It was founded in 1996, and its the first official name was EcoStar Satellite. And uh, we have four listed satellites in a flip to dis distribute the service throughout in the United States and Puerto Rico. Uh, in their initial, it was to be offered satellite television service for domestic service. But now the service includes shops. Uh, well, and from the operation managers, TL support, and agents. We maintain a dynamic work environment uh, with the campaigns that are working monthly. We have the opportunity to share with the bosses, partners, agents, to highlight equality with at least the content staff. I am so really nice in this team. This account is wonderful. Well, and I personally, I love my job. Excellent. Now, hey, you you should record the video saying so about your company so you can you can be promoted, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can be promoted. That would be a okay. you you talked uh, pretty good about your your job. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the info was uh, great. Thank you. And also, I noticed that you were like uh, paying special attention to certain words. And I really <laughs> like that, right? Thank you. And let me see. Well, I think time is almost done. We're still missing like 15 minutes. We're going to do something. Uh, well, I have a homework. I need to go over it. So now you talked about your company, right? And listen, get ready. Get ready with some other information about um, companies that um, companies around the world, right? So, and also you're gonna you're going to investigate about uh, about the salary, right? ¿Cuál es el salario y cuáles son las compañías que mejor que mejor pagan un salario? Okay. Nos investigan la compañía. Okay. ¿Qué es que hay de interesante en esa compañía? Y uh, acerca de los beneficios de trabajar en, en ese lugar. Okay. Now, now, it will be a different company, right? Seguimos adquiriendo más vocabulario. Okay. So that's for tomorrow. And just right now, people, quiero que por favor se vayan a la, a la plataforma y terminen los ejercicios hasta esta fecha. Y aparte de eso, que dediquemos que menos de 10 minutos tenemos para trabajar en el midterm, por lo menos una, una 
una o dos partes que hagan de midterm es, ya es mucho, ya es bastante. Para ya luego ir, ir cerrando esa actividad el día viernes. Yo ahorita me voy a, a revisar el cuadro de los avances para ver cómo estamos ahí con los ejercicios. Okay, in the, in the week number one, we still have some, some participants who haven't finished. Todavía aparecen algunos eh, participantes que no han terminado la semana uno. Okay, por favor, terminarla. Y vamos a tratar de terminar las actividades de la semana dos. Y por supuesto, el midterm. I will checklist the tenants. Aiden. Hello, teacher. Hello, Aiden. Belen. Daniel Enrique. Present, teacher. Jonathan Josué. Edgar Edilson. Ok, Gladys Rubiria. José Daniel Cermeño. Present teacher. Ok, Juan Fernando. Present teacher. Excelente, María Elba. Mario Cristóbal. Mario Cristóbal is there, right? Ferenice. I hear this. Okay, Merly. Present teacher. Michael. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Noah. Present teacher. Norma. Ronan. Teresa María, Vera Liz, and Jancy. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's see the chats. Okay, Jose Daniel, Vera Liz also. Okay, people, I think. Well, as as you as you could notice tonight, we didn't go deeply, or I mean, 
we didn't investigate more about about grammar because yesterday we studied a lot about grammar <laughs> about simple past but tonight uh, was a little bit different and the most important is that you created something and I want you to continue doing so okay so uh, I told you also about homework assignment tomorrow you're going to present a company that you consider is uh, an interesting company to investigate una compañía que ustedes consideren es interesante saber de, de, de esa compañía eso es para mañana esa es tarea y lo otro seguir aprendiéndose verbos okay? verbos, verbos, verbos presente, forma base infinitivo, pasado pasado participio estamos a tiempo o sea, estamos justo en el momento en donde debemos adquirir muchos verbos, muchas palabras. Okay. So, uh, let me know when you finish. Remember, you need to work in the midterm. Finish, teacher. You already finished? You ready to finish? Yes. The, mid, the midterm? Como voy, teacher? Voy puntual. <laughs> give me a second, give me a second. Es que me salí. Me salí del cuadrito y ahorita estoy tratando de ingresar nuevamente. Ok, have it here. Ok, si alguien quiere saber respecto a sus avances. Allá, Aníbal. Aníbal, right? Hey, Aníbal, congratulations. Ok, Aníbal tiene el 100% en ambas actividades. Thank you, teacher. Ok, solo quiero ver, acá tiene un 50% en... Ah, bueno, ahorita le ha colocado 50 puntos en el midterm. A ver, perdón, en la, en la homework activities, el promedio de homework. Y quiero ver el midterm. Hey, congrats, Aníbal. Thank you, teacher. Ya tiene el 100% en el midterm. Ok. So that's the way it is. That's the way it is, right? So there are some people who still uh, who are uh, missing some activities, and I will I will highly appreciate you can finish it if it is possible tonight. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday, and I think we are gonna go over some exercises about about this. So. I don't know if you have any comment, any doubt, uh, something you want to share with the group. Uh, once, one of these days, there, there uh, uh, I don't remember who was the person, but uh, she sent a message and she told me, teacher, I got an application that I consider is, I don't know if it, it was an application or a web page. But she told me, I consider it would be really nice if I share it with the group in the, in, I mean, in WhatsApp. Okay, Norma, I saw your message. 
So that, that would be also good if you encountered uh, an application or some info that you consider it can be very, very important, very relevant uh, for the group to learn it. You can share it in the, in the WhatsApp group. Es importante que también interactúen en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. La vez anterior, eh, una persona me envió un mensaje diciéndome que había encontrado una página que es que estaba muy, muy bonita para aprender eh, un segundo idioma, inglés en el caso. Y me dijo, teacher, ¿puedo compartirlo en el grupo? Y yo le dije que sí. Okay. Es importante que si usted encuentra, digamos, una aplicación, una, una página o, o algo que, que, o una lista, la vez pasada fue lista de verbos, algo que nos ayude como equipo, como grupo, que pues lo comparta sin, ningún, sin ninguna pena, pues para, para eso está el grupo, para que interactúe. So that's a, another piece of advice. Remember, well, this is week number two. We're still missing like two weeks and then you will move on to another level, to a higher level of English. Okay? okay. So questions, Anibal. What's the homework for tomorrow? The salary uh, company. <laughs> <laughs> A usted se le quedó más el salario de una compañía. Se le conviene de... cambiar. Sí. No, no, no. Fíjense que sí, o sea, la idea que yo traté de, 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 que yo traté de darles es investigar una, una compañía así que ustedes digan, wow, quisiera saber más acerca de esa compañía, cómo está estructurada cómo será el ambiente laboral, que, cómo están organizados. Y por supuesto, si pueden investigar del, del, del salary, pues también ahí este, pues no, no es mala idea investigar, ¿verdad? No es mala idea. Estamos aprendiendo, estamos aprendiendo vocabulario, ¿ok? Y es bueno. You're happy with the job you, you have now, right? Certified, certified. <laughs> I mean, you, you are lucky because you, you, you saw the president of El Salvador there, right? <laughs> Tuvo la, la oportunidad de ver al presidente, ¿no? Oh. En, en persona. <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, that's the idea, people, okay? E investigar una compañía de su interés y presentarnos la mañana. All right. Any question? Any comment? No, no questions? Question. No comments? No question, no comments. Okay, so let us see tomorrow, people. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, Good people. night. Good, Good night. night. Blessings. Good night. Good night, Chancellor.